Oh, showing off the new phone, buddy. <laughs> Good morning, rolling with the jazz. I'm LaRock, she's jazz. One August, update, uh, they're laying the slab on the first floor. It's raining. Uh, we had one, uh, the engineer had a truckload of uh, grava delivered uh, today, this morning. And let me turn back around slowly. Look through here, see the rain. Way in the distance over there by the Kubo is the pile of grava. And the reason it's there is because the driver, who happened to be the same driver that dumped this sand off the other day and got stuck right there, the same guy. We had told him in the future, turn around over there, back your way back here, all the way here to where this, where my black truck is, and then dump the sand and or grava here, and then go straight out, and you won't have any problems. Well, the same guy, I feel bad, he's a nice guy, too, we tell him, he said, okay, man, okay, Paul. And then the same guy came over here, and I guess, I don't know what he was trying to do. I guess he misunderstood us because I guess he was trying to pull in there and turn around and back up. And he got stuck right there where that grava is. There's some brown dirt to the left of it. So they had to empty the grava again, just like they did here. This time, it, didn't, it took them way longer than 10 minutes uh, to get unstuck, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Now, with that said, we've called the same company yesterday because I, I ordered two truckloads of dirt and that dirt, I wanted to go pile it right where that grove is at because I was going to put the dirt and fill in all that low area from the, where the bridge ends over there and put it in around the Kubo because that's where the water sets. It's a low area over there. I was going to build it up with some dirt. So my concern now is I'm not sure if the company's going to want the driver to come back out even though we're going to assure them it's right by the bridge and the guy just turn around over there back in and he can dump it right there on the side and he won't he will not get stuck but they may be reluctant to come but we'll see that's a story to be continued okay i'm going to pan to my right now this may be short video because as you can see over here at the bottom of the stairs that's where they got the cement so i'm not going to walk on it it's still wet even though she's walking on it <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, as I chuckle, because I don't want to get uh, cement on my slippers and bring it back to my truck. But it looks like it's going to happen anyway with her slippers. But I'm a little heavier, so I'll sink. So anyway, this is what they're doing today. They're laying the slab down, so it's good they got the gravel and everything else. Corey Doy in the red shirt is putting in uh, the receptacles that we spoke about. That must be the light switch set over there he's putting on the right hand side. So I still need to see another receptacle on the right side of that window. Parallel with the receptacle that's here, I want a receptacle there. And I think they put that receptacle there that's going to go all the way up to the exhaust fan. I'm not sure why, but it's so low, but we'll, we'll work through that. Alright, this is a construction project, so we always work through things. Got a good team here. The team here is good. Uh, you can see some of the orange piping out there. This is where the TV is going to go here. So I want to mount it on the wall. And then uh, obviously some extra receptacles here. There's going to be a back to back one. Let me step around the poles. While I'm here, there's going to be a back to back one here going into that room here. So we can have electrical outlet to the carport. So let me step in. I have to be careful. There's rebar strings down at the bottom of the foot. Okay, yeah, they already got the one here. There's an orange pipe. That's the back to back one for the port. So we have electrical outlet out there for people like me who want to plug in the fan if I want to sit on the front porch and blow the air on me. So this is what we're doing here. It'll probably be a rather short video today unless I decide to walk around. There's Angelo on the cell phone doing what the new generations do. They're going to be stuck.
stuck like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause here. But man, he's got there laying the thing by hand. No mixer here, manual mix. Okay. Welcome back, people. This is why I like Koya Mike. He showed up five minutes ago. Took, looked around, looked at the situation, assessed, and uh, I wasn't expecting him to work today. I figured he was going to see and see what needed to be done. And five minutes later, he's changed. And look at him. Look at him. He is the man. Hardest working man I ever met. He just gets straight to it. If he sees it, he assesses it, and he goes about getting it taken care of. That's why he's my favorite man. My favorite man, my favorite guy. And I think he said that what we gotta do is what he was talking about. We gotta stop this somehow or another, but he agreed with us, put another culvert down this way. Start going that way, so we'll stop it from coming here. So he's going to look like dig down and open it up a little bit so for now the water can go there instead of here. And look at that, see? And he'll work like this the whole day. That cigarette in his mouth, that's all he needs. He's like Tatai on... Uh, Foreigner farming in the Philippines. Boy, my hard working man. That cigarette. Give him some tubig. Some muriander. Some lunchtime ulam. That man will work. And he'll work. And he'll work. God makes good people like that in this world. Okay. I'm going to let him do it. Do a slow pan. We'll connect this later. And I was talking to the guys this morning. They said all this water, which is I kind of I was hoping. There's even some over there and in the back, it's about ankle deep around the house and in the back. All this water is not from the rain, not from the Ulan. Okay. This water is here because behind me, what I've been showing in this video, the, the land, the water was just came in, it's too strong. Malakas, that's what they said. It just came in and just bulled through the dirt that was there and it just pulled out and just flooded and started taking dirt and concrete and everything else with it. So, I can't remember if I filmed this already, but we put a grass and roots here and a sandbag and then we got another one over here. So the water has stopped and the water is receding from where it was earlier when we're doing that. So eventually, this will all the way all be absorbed into the ground. Only reason it's still here is because, as you can see, it's being fed through here. So, pull your mic set down. He's gonna cut away through there, and let the water run, and hopefully uh, pile it up here. And maybe we just sandbag it here and let the water take these sandbags, sandbag it here, and let the water run through there. See. He thought about that right away. Not me. I was thinking about other stuff. Let's see. That's why I like Corey Mike. Okay, folks. We're going to let him get busy without being photographed. He'll work like that all day, I tell you. Okay. I'm going to start splashing all these footage together. It's still running. Looks like they picked up a little bit more momentum. However, you see the water levels dropped. And it's not bubbling, there's a space there now. So the water's receding, but we, we plugged it up as much. We've slowed it as much as we can, but it's still seeping through. Okay. <clears throat> These are the days of our lives. Come over here, I'm going to walk out here a little bit. I don't sink too much, and I'm going to walk over there. I pretty, have a pretty good idea where the water's coming. It's right over this area here, and I can see it moving here. Just wanted to come and have a closer look, see? Yeah. 
Yeah, I see it running. I'm not mistaken, it seems to be running slower now. The water, so that means hopefully the water will begin to dissipate more. The best uh, way to know is when you start see that water bubbling as it's hitting the culvert. When that stops bubbling, that means it's actually lowering and the water's going under it and it's not bubbling up there. So we've stemmed it. It's starting to breach here a little bit and go over. Nothing we can do about that. We've we've stowed the, with the force of the water to where it'll stop moving, shoveling our dirt away and moving it onto our lupa there. Um, obviously, you can see in the distance how it's affecting the house build. They're moving stuff into the house and hopefully they'll be sleeping there and get out of those barracks while they're working on it. Power to the Filipino people. They have to work and live in these conditions. The fortitude is amazing. People, people, people. Living with Mother Nature. Good thing I didn't walk into this clothesline. <laughs> All right.